how can one device vape so well be pretty innovative yet so ugly and over engineered at the same time Right. what's up everybody grim green back here today thank you so much for joining me again this is the geyser from vapix is, is that how you pronounce that i guess vapix it's sort of an all-in-one what they're calling a fourth generation mod pod but in order to get to know this device just a little bit better what we're going to do is go up close yeah as we often do quick short uppy closey time we're going to do some uppy closey time we're going to do some pros and cons then we're going to wrap it up with my final thoughts i'll have time stamps for everything down below yeah go all right here it is the vapix guy First things first, click 21700 on the inside. It comes with this battery, and from what I understand, this is a good quality Sony battery. Ugh. Click back up. These are your airflow adjustments. They're going to be on both sides of it, and you kind of have to adjust them together. I'll explain that later. USB-C charging bonus points it's got a pretty nice little display shows you everything you need to know as far as coil resistance your amp load volts how many puffs you've taken of course you can reset that one two three is going to kind of get you into the menu here you can change it from power tc nickel tc stainless steel tc titanium custom tcrs it has a vape power curve setting which i never use and then bypass as well let's get this back into wattage mode this right here represents your battery level indicator when it's fully full obviously you're battery's gonna be full. And then when it's getting down like this, that means your battery's dying. Fire button right on the front. It's actually real nice and clicky. If you press it at the bottom, it's just pure awesome clickiness. And if you press it towards the top, it kind of squishes and then clicks. And sometimes if you hit it high enough, it'll not even fire at all. It'll just squish so you kind of need to hit it down here at the bottom it has a proprietary sort of inner o-ring drip tip on there it feels you know about like an 810 diameter this 810 drip tip is about 18.3 millimeters geyser drip tip is about 15.6 yeah so i don't know more or less 810 i guess haha -ha, thanks not the real gerard butler now if you want to release your tank out of here you're going to grab this little doodad and go away from the drip tip and the whole tank will release and and pop out. There's your contacts down there. I will say the bottom of this stays very clean. Never had any liquid down here in the contacts. The only time you're going to take this out though is to A, change your coil heads, or two, look at your juice level. Because as we'll talk about, it's impossible to see. Now this right here is kind of where the leakiness sort of starts happening. Juice. Juice on my fingers, which ends up on the mod. To fill it, you're going to leave the pod in in there and you're gonna press this little doodad forward and magically this opens look how wet and juicy it is in there you got two holes for filling liquid goes in one air comes out the other the problem is these are angled so you get your nozzle in there good luck seeing how full it is because you can't there's n there's nowhere to see it so what I have to do is just fill until I see it sort of come out the top just a little bit and then I stop. Probably not the best way to do it, and it's probably what's leading to a lot of leaking. But I can't think of another way. Oh, there it is. Stop. Ugh. If you overfill it just a little bit, this is unforgiving. It will just leak straight out all over the place, all over the place. So be careful. Then, ugh. Click this back down, and now you're good to vape. This comes with four different types of coil heads and two different types of tanks. There's one tank to fit the bigger coil heads, so the X15S and the X15D, which are both for, you know, big, open, sub ohm tank style direct lung vaping. Then they have a smaller tank that you can buy that will fit the smaller coil heads, so the X Model 10 and the X Model 10N. The X Model 10 is a 0.25, they say it's for restricted direct to lung. And then the X model 10 N is a 0.6. And they say that is for a tight and loose mouth to lung. I have been vaping the model 15 D the 0.2 ohm coil in here 
since I got it, weeks and weeks now, and it is held up very nice. It honestly vapes spectacularly. But what I wanna do real quickly is take this smaller size tank and we're gonna shoot for the Model 10N. We wanna go full mouth to lung with this. Didn't even have my other light on. That's fucking amateur hour. The smaller tank comes pre-installed with alternate airflow sort of adjustment rings on there. It's not mesh, you can kind of see it's just a little slot. And look at that, comes pre-installed with the 0.6 ohm Canthal X10N coil head for mouth to lung. Let me show you what else you get in the package real quick. It's honestly really very nice packaging, very well displayed, open vape. You get those alternate airflow rings, you get a uh, silicone 18650 adapter, USB-C cable, there's an extra you know tank in here as well and then the other coil heads this is the 15s this is the 10 and then this is the 10n you also get tools you get like a little crowbar guy for prying your coil heads out of there and then you get this star shaped allen key and that is for taking off these airflow uh you know circular adjustment guys Let's see if we can pop this coil head out of here just to show you yeah just press fit in there can you see down in there yeah all these coil heads are mesh by the way i'm literally just gonna put like two or three drops in here. And people tell me you don't need to do that, but I don't feel comfortable not doing that. It's just what I've always done, man. Obviously there's a flat side and a round side, so you have to line up the flat side with the flat side and the round side with the round side, press it in. This one goes in alternate drip tip as well on the mouth to lung tank. Same internal O-ring style. Now that I have calipers, let's check the diameter of this drip tip. 12 millimeters. If that information is important to you, then you're welcome. Now let's try to fill this without making a mess everywhere. Cool, all right. Going for some 12 milligrams, so I'm hoping this is an actual mouth to lung and not a restricted lung because 12 milligram in a restricted lung just makes me sad. It makes my throat sad. Fill it until you see it pop out just a little. Oh, okay. Oof. There it is. Stop. Stop filling. Close immediately. So there it is. The Vapex geyser. Now we got it in mouth to lung coil head mode. I say we get back out to normal view. Let's do some pros and cons and final thoughts. So how about some pros and cons? The thing vapes great. The, the 15D and the 15S coil heads that feel much more like a big, nice open sub-ohm tank, they, they just vape great. It's a real nice airflow, it's nice and smooth, and it tastes like a single strip of mesh coil head tastes, which is not bad. It's a 21700, and more than that, it comes with its own Sony 21700, so you buy this, you don't even have to buy another battery, unless you want a spare, which you probably want a spare. The aluminum alloy it's made out of gives it a really lightweight feeling. I mean, even with a battery inside of it, yeah, there's some things that are plastic, like the back of this door is plastic, there's a few plastic parts, the AFC is plastic. For the most part, it feels pretty substantial. It doesn't feel like crazy durable like an Aegis type of mod, but it feels pretty nice and uh, it's real lightweight. Normally, I don't really love lightweight mods, but I feel like this has a, a pretty nice little balance to it in the hand. That USB-C is another big pro for me, even though that's not really how I charge this thing up. I just, I just like seeing it on a device. The airflow is actually also pretty smooth. It's not quiet by any means, but it is smooth. And it's those mesh discs on the outside that you adjust that add to that smoothness. Now, if we're gonna get into some cons, yeah, it's ugly, hyper ugly in my opinion. It's got this like loop in the back, this? What's this for? Well, what is that for? Are you gonna wear this around your neck? I, I don't think so. The little two system switch on top, it's kind of cool, I've never seen anything like that before, but it's leaky to fill. And like I said, if you overfill it just a little and you let that liquid go out the other side, it, it, it's everywhere, goes everywhere, and it's leaky and kind of annoying. I'm a person that gets a little uppity about my airflow, especially in RDAs and RTAs and things like this. I want my airflow to feel even, and you have to adjust these little discs on the side evenly. Like I showed you, they just have those little two tabs that pop out, and you kind of adjust them evenly. The way that I adjust this airflow, and I'm not joking in any capacity when I say this, is I'll put it down on the desk, 
and I'll just drag while simultaneously turning these together. And I guess the last real big con that I can think of is the tank is just a really dark smoky color and while it's attached to the device, you cannot see your liquid level at all. Z zero. The only way that I've found to accurately really see your liquid level is to pop the tank out and hold it up against the light with the, you know, with the front of it facing forward. That's going to give you your most accurate liquid level. You, you can't see it from the side. You can't see it from the front. You can't see it while you're filling it. It's obnoxious. This is that mouth to lung coil. I've turned the airflow down. I've adjusted it using my desk method to be a pretty tight little airflow. I've got it sitting at 16 watts right now. And let me tell you, it's not great. It's I don't know. It's not great. I'm a, a little bit of a mouth to lung snob. I like my K-Funds. I love that dwarf. I've vaped a ton of mouth to lung devices and tanks and RTAs over the years. And this is it's just not a desirable mouth to lung in my opinion. The flavors, okay. Okay, I guess, but the airflow is really where they lose me in this mouth to lung. You basically have to turn the airflow off if you want it to be any sort of stiffness or a tight draw. And when you do that, it just becomes kind of unenjoyable. And if you adjust it to anything other than, I mean, really closed off, it doesn't give you much airflow adjustment. It just becomes a really, really like way too open, even for me, mouth to lung. It's just uh, really not an enjoyable experience in my opinion. I wish this didn't half ass the mouth to lung. I wish they would have just stuck to like the 2.2 ohm coils, just how the, had this be a direct lung. You wouldn't need to have two different tanks with it, two different tanks that take two different types of coil heads. You wouldn't need to have that. You wouldn't need to have two different, you know, screw on AFC discs. So here we go. Final thoughts. I like it for some purposes. The 0.2 ohm coil head at about 70 watts is great. Nice and flavorful. Hits like a great sub tank. I love the 21700 of it. And, and that's kind of it. Everything else is just weird. Yeah, it's neat to have the two-way switch that does two different things, but it's kind of unnecessary. The whole thing just feels really over-engineered. I feel like this was a device that was created with a committee and everybody, they said yes to every idea. What about like two big airflow discs on the side that you kind of have to turn together to adjust the airflow? Yes, put it in. What if we made it look like fucking Batman's walkie talkie? Yeah, definitely. I don't love it. I don't hate it. If we were gonna play the Aliens game or the FDA game where they came and took everything I have, I got nothing left to vape. Is this the first Mod Pod that I'd go and seek out and buy? Definitely not. You also might need a little bit of those uh, good old fashioned vape budget hands in here as the retail price on this is about 65 to 70 dollars. There's uh, some other Mod Pods out there on the market that I would definitely look into before the Vepix Geyser. Uh, I like the Drag X better than this. I like the Aegis Max, Aegis, Aegis Boost Max more than this as well. Fucking juice, just juice everywhere. Anyway, that's just too much rambling. That's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Links are not allowed in the description anymore, thanks to YouTube, so you're going to have to use that Google Foo, but thank you. Seriously, so much for watching, and remember, honestly, no matter what's in your hand, vaping is still at least 95% less harmful than burning tobacco cigarettes. So yeah, you guys, Let's keep on vaping. Also, shout out to Kasa for my t-shirt. I'll have a link in the description. 